Number 41. The lonely twilight of life. When you pass 50, your responsibilities at work increase. Your parents die and your children go away. As you near retirement, your hair gets thinner, your teeth fall out, and your eyesight fails. You, became, you become prey to infirmities like diabetes, high blood pressure, and neural, neuralgia. Women go through menopause with its hormonal changes and mood swings. The silent cry goes up. Why does all this ha have to happen to me? The lonely twilight of life must come. I think this passage was written almost uh, four or five decades ago, or maybe a little more before. So, yeah, it, it was uh, the author uh, refers to the situations in Japan. So, since then, uh, human beings have experienced a lot of advancement in science and technology. So now many of these unfortunate phenomena in our body and health can be avoided. Yes, so we can maintain our, our good health for a little longer time. And thanks to the information technology, we have access to a lot of beneficial information out there, which we didn't have access before. So basically people were much more ignorant in the past. Yeah. I never knew dehydration is bad. <laughs> yeah, I I learned this only maybe 20, 20 years ago or 15 or 10 years ago. Before that, I didn't know at all. And also I didn't know the importance of uh, tooth brushing. I mean, effective brushing, you know. Uh, I just thought just uh, using uh, toothpaste and uh, brush for 30 seconds and uh, uh, rinse my mouth without thinking if uh, the tooth teeth are brushed uh, properly or not. That's why people in the past developed a lot of cavity and gum disease. So, so many elderly citizens were without teeth. Yeah. <laughs> but recently, things are changing. So, more and more people keep their healthy teeth so they can enjoy eating until very late stage of life. And that's really good. Yeah, it's all thanks to the advancement of science and technology, medical science especially. So we are getting a lot of benefits from, from this uh, human activity. Yeah, without our awareness and the knowing, things have changed so much. But something that remain unchanged, maybe it's the loneliness. Uh, of life, mm, because of impermanence, we have uh, we experienced separation from our uh, friends uh, and also our family members. And it's part of the human loneliness. And uh, another type of loneliness is. Uh, our life is a lonely journey. 
uh, it doesn't it hasn't changed since the time of Buddha. Mm, but to understand this loneliness is not so easy because even some people, uh, even though they are living all alone in solitude, but they are content and that's very good. They can enjoy solitude. They don't suffer so much from living all by themselves. I think they know the, the joy of uh, uh, soul to some extent. So what Buddha taught as lonely journey is much deeper uh, type of suffering. So to understand this, we need to listen to Dharma again and again. Uh, we we in, in, uh, develop more awareness about our true self. The, the yeah the true self, uh, which means uh, mm, yeah our karma. What kind of karma we have accumulated up until today, and our karma creates the world, and then we live in that world. <clears throat> so the loneliness of life is deeply related to uh, our dark mind, which Buddha taught as the root cause of suffering. Yeah, loneliness is part of uh, root cause of suffering. And it's it's the ignorance about our true self, and ignorance about our purpose of life, and ignorance about what will happen in our afterlife. So those symptom or phenomenon can be the trigger or motivation for for us to understand this reality the lonely journey yeah so facing this twilight of life is not so bad because that might be uh, the beginning of our spiritual journey okay Okay, that's, I think, what we can learn from today's story. Okay.